La deuxième mai, 2011. Osama bin Laden a été tué en Pakistan par une attaque militaire des États-Unis nommée Neptune Spear. Tout le monde savait que Osama était une des personnes les plus cherchées pour un long temps. Mais est-ce que tu sais pourquoi? Un de ses plus grands accomplissements a été le bombardement des tours du World Trade Center sur le 11 septembre 2001. C'était une des plus mauvaises attaques sur les États-Unis en histoire, et il a eu un énorme impact sur les États-Unis et le monde. Bin Laden a planifié les attaques sur la croyance de jihad. Un jihad est une guerre de religion dans la langue musulmane, et c'était la croyance de Bin Laden que le monde devrait être nettoyé de personnes qui ne croient pas dans le Coran. Witcher, Witcher 14, Witcher 20 et Witcher 21. Les quatre avions 11, 175, 77 et 93 sortent de les aéroports différents. Witcher 37. À ce temps, c'était réalisé qu'il y a des avions volés des de États-Unis et il y a plus de seulement un. C'était à ce temps qu'ils ont averti les militaires. Witcher 46. Ont répondu de le détournement des avions, le gouvernement des États-Unis a envoyé les avions attaque pour arrêter les autres avions. À ce même moment, la tour Nord était frappée par le premier avion des aviates américains. 9h12. L'avion 175 frappé à la tour Sud. Jusqu'à maintenant, ils ont découvert qu'ils ne contrôlent plus que seulement un avion. Le Pentagone est frappé par l'avion 77. Le contrôle de l'avion 93 est repris par les passagers. Puis l'avion est forcé à la sortie en Pittsburgh. Le tour sud. Tombé à la sol. Deezer Van Wheat. Le tour Nord a tombé. En 2004, le gouvernement américain a créé un document avec l'histoire officielle de leur avis. Un groupe a été créé pour analyser l'évidence de 9 ans. Ils ont parlé avec 1200 personnes des différents pays, analysé plus que 2,5 millions de pages de documents. Et ils ont trouvé que Osama Bin Laden a été responsable pour les attaques et l'organisation de 19 terroristes qui étaient directement responsables pour les attaques. Aussi, le rapport a trouvé que le FBI et le CIA n'étaient pas assez préparés et ils n'ont pas réagi assez vite pour prévenir la situation. Our van wouldn't start, we couldn't get the key to turn, we couldn't, we were running way late for one of the most important meetings in five years in our life at Windows. I called Bobby, I said, order me over easy, sausage, white, he wanted eggs, Benny. <laughs> Brian and I said we would be late, but a half hour, stall. Bobby started cursing and swearing, something he's never done, he's Muslim, and I've never heard him curse. And I'm like, Jesus, I'll be there. Just keep them calm. <laughs> yeah. Don't go crazy. And it went dead. We were on the approach to the Brooklyn Bridge, and the smoke hit. It throws you. You realize something has just happened. By the time we got there, the second tower was just coming down. The world had changed. Nothing would be the same. A matter of a couple of seconds of our van not working would save our life. The stories I would hear after one of the executives of Cantor Fitzgerald took his son to school on the Upper West Side, dropped him off, 
his 10-year-old son started smashing windows in the school for no reason. He's driving down the West Side Highway. The principal calls your kids going home and he's being expelled. <laughs> he goes up. He picks his child up. He yells at him. He screams at him. He's driving back down the West Side Highway, taking his kid to work with him. When the first plane hits right where his offices would be. If his kid had backed it up, and when he asked him why, he said, because I had to, Daddy. I don't know why. That's one of the million stories of people who were late that day. Uh, that's when I wrote Spirit of America. The words are in the book. I had paper. All I had in my pocket was some paper from the hotel where we'd been living, the St. Regis. Yeah. Little note papers. I didn't have a pen. And this elderly black woman beside me said, what are you looking for? And I said, a pen. And she said, here. And she handed me the most precious thing I've ever been given, a Stars and Stripes pen. <laughs> Why did I write it? Well, a woman, there's a picture of her in the book, was standing in front of me. And I said, how can you sketch at a moment like this? We were waiting to be given orders as to how to help to get survivors out and to do triage. And she said, I'm an artist. It's what I do, and it's I can only do what I know what to do. And I have to do something, so I'll record it in the way I know. That's when I started to write the song Spirit of America. Do I believe Osama bin Laden was a monster? No. He was a man, just like you and I. And but for the grace of God, we could do it. Will I hate some Muslims, extremists? Yeah. <laughs> and I'll never apologize for it. I saw too much and felt too much that day. When you walk through five miles of the busiest city on the face of the earth and don't see a living creature, not even a rat, and the city is full of them. No children in the school grounds. PS 128, yeah, there's bone empty. That's heart-wrenching. Five thousand people don't exist. They vanished. The ash, that fine, super fine powder. Imagine taking a concrete block, putting it in a blender, and achieving a powder that fine. That's what was left of about 90% of both buildings. Unreal. The force and the pressure turned it to powder. You didn't find big chunks. You found small pieces like this. Uh, it's sacred. Are there human remains in it? There have to be. They, were blown, they, they didn't exist. It vanished in seconds from the face of the earth. The void of sound, the animals, a lot didn't return to lower Manhattan for a while. Among it all, there was hope. Uh, when a rat would come up looking for food and you would feed it like a squirrel. And it would be appreciative, right to a tail wag. <laughs> I went from terrified and hating them to feeding them. 100% of it is made from the remains and reconstituted from the building. Wow. Each of the resurrected Christs looked like this. There's one in Cologne, Germany that the Pope took over when he became Pope and went back to his homeland. They're in major cathedrals and churches in America and in New York at Ground Zero. We designed it with strength to show that there was a hope. It's, it's saying, I'm here. You yeah. didn't push me down. And that's what it's all about. None of us were pushed down. We're still here.